Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Rice again, and I have another story to read to you today. Today our story is called The Birthday Pet. Before we start reading, I thought we could just think about our pets for a while. I know some of you have pets at your house. In my house I have a pet dog called Izzy. She's white and fluffy and I love to take her on walks and she's been keeping me company while I can't go out and see you guys. I was talking to Miss Corona and she doesn't have a pet but she really wishes she could have a little dog that could keep her company and be able to go out and play with. So we thought we'd read the story about a birthday pet. This little boy wanted a pet for his birthday. Can you tell by the cover what kind of a pet he wants for his birthday? Our author of our story today is Ellen Javernick. She also wrote one of our favorite books, What If Everyone Did That? Remember that book? And our illustrator today is Kevin O'Malley. So let's see what's gonna happen. Here's our title page, The Birthday Pet by Ellen Javernick. Illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. There's a picture of a cat. I know a cat is one of Giselle's favorite animals. There's just our dedication page. It was Danny's birthday, and his folks said he could get any kind of animal he wanted for a pet. There's Danny. He's been thinking about the animals. Snake, dog, mouse, cat, chicken. He's been reading books. He's made a list. Look, the bad things about animals. They can run away, barking, sneezing. That must mean he could be allergic to some animals if he's sneezing. The good things for an animal, soft, quiet, slow, funny. So his pictures are a turtle, a mouse, a rabbit, and like a big dog down there. He's been reading books about pets. He's really thinking about what pet he wants. Danny thought it over before he went to bed. All I really want is a turtle, he said. That's his number one pet, the Eastern Box Turtle. They don't get fur all over, they're quiet, doesn't run away, fun to watch. But instead, Dad said, you don't want a pet that sits like a log. So he went out and got Danny a, what do you think he's gonna get? Look, Danny's wearing a shirt. I love turtles, his shirt says. But instead, Dad got Danny a dog. Oh, look at the look on Danny's face. Look at that big dog his dad got. The dog knocked Danny over when they went outside to play. If Danny took her walking, she always ran away. She's pulled her leash out of his hand. She's running. Danny can't catch her. How's the dog? asked his father. Danny shook his head. All he really want is a turtle, he said. He's making a box that looks like a turtle. But instead, Mom said, a turtle's not cuddly or soft like a mitten. Look what Danny has on his hat. He's got his turtle. So instead, Mom went out and got Danny a kitten. The kitten was cuddly, but it made Danny sneeze. And he always had to get it down from the trees. Look, the cat's stuck up in the tree. Danny's down on the ground. He's got the can of food. He's even got his tissue in his wagon because the cat makes him sneeze. How's the kitten, asked his mother. Danny shook his head. All I really want is a turtle, he said. His mom's hugging the kitten. Now Danny's made himself a little hat with a pail on and he's got his green shirt up like he was a turtle. Now he sees his brother. What kind of, a, does his brother have on his shirt? What kind of animal? Let's see what his brother likes. But instead his big brother said, you ought to pick a pet more exciting than that. So he went out and got Danny a rat. The rat's beady eyes were a scary sight. And the rat kept Danny up when it gnawed all night. Ooh, that rat would scare me for sure. Look, we have that fun word, nod, with our silent G. It means it's chewing all the time. Danny's looking really scared. How's the rat, asked his brother. Danny shook his head. All I really want is a turtle, he said. But instead, his older sister said, You would like a turtle? A turtle is absurd. So they went out and got Danny a... What do you think his sister likes? It's got a beak, it's got a feather. She got Danny a bird, a oh, huge bird. Danny still doesn't look very happy. The bird only nipped, it didn't even talk. 
It was sort of pretty, but it had a nasty squawk. It's so loud. Danny has to keep his hands over his ears. He can't even hear. How's the bird, asked his sister. Danny shook his head. None of you listened to anything I said. Look, now he's crying. He's so sad. So instead, his family got Danny a turtle. Yay, it's got a ribbon on it. Danny's so happy. With a nice hard shell, Danny couldn't wait for his show and tell. Danny's got his turtle finally. The turtle blinked her eyes and never made a sound. Look, Danny has it at school at its desk. In the background it says, 215 million year old turtle. I wonder if that's true. She played peek-a-brew as she crawled around. Danny and his amazing turtle, Lulu. Oh, we named her Lulu. The teacher doesn't look so happy with Lulu. Danny's showing her off at show and tell. He's really, really happy with his turtle. He fed her bugs and lettuce and made her a turtle gym. There she is eating the lettuce. There she is in her gym. She's got a ball to play with, a ring to crawl through, ramps to crawl down. Danny thought the turtle was the perfect pet for him. He's still got his bucket on his head and he has a smile on his face. So dad kept the dog and his brother kept the rat. And his sister kept the bird and his mom kept the cat. Oh my gosh, look, the cat is trying to chase the bird and the mom and sister running after them. All of them look a little frantic. Danny kept the turtle and that was the end of that. And there's Danny with his turtle and his turtle crossing. I hope you guys really like that story. So why don't you now think about a pet that either you have or a pet that you would like to have and write a little story yourself about your favorite pet and draw a picture of yourself with your pet and then you can show it to me next time I talk to you. Have a great day. Miss Corona and I miss you. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.